can chalk all of this up to good police work. An ex-con is behind bars and facing several felony charges that could land him in prison for a long time. Great hit. These are dangerous guns. And again, Randy, doping guns. That's unfortunately a lot of our violence always has been and continues to be right around doping guns. Now a few more of them are off the street and a Detroit man is behind bars after cops kicked in his door last week. Looking at you know close to 200 grams of fentanyl, which everybody knows fentanyl is killing people out here every day. Almost 100 grams of cocaine, some pills. Commander Eric Decker from DPD's Organized Crime Unit says officers seized about $330,000 worth of narcotics, as well as a small treasure trove of weapons, including finished and unfinished unserialized firearms, or so-called ghost guns, inside Terrence Burley's home on Wilshire near Chalmers. Uppers, lowers for the AR type thing, jigs to manufacture these, the tool and dies to manufacture these weapons. Decker suspects Burley was making unserialized weapons to sell on the street to other prohibited persons like felons who cannot otherwise buy guns because most transactions require a background check. I'm a gun owner, I'm a big supporter of gun rights and there's the right way to get guns. Yeah. Um, we have laws on the books. We have reasons why people should not possess a firearm. One of them, the big one is you're a convicted felon. You've used a gun in the past, you've committed crime. And those are the people that are going through illegal trades to get guns. Decker says Burley popped up on their radar while investigating a failed drug buy at another location. As a customer went up to the house, it appeared that they were out of product. Happens, officers followed that person to this place. It wasn't on our radar, at that time and said, OK, seen transactions and then put surveillance on it and we hit the door. Burley has a prior armed robbery and drug conviction. As a felon, it's illegal for him to have these guns in his possession. Burley's arrest provides little comfort to one neighbor who witnessed the east side neighborhood's decline over the past several decades. He did not want his face shown on camera. It's comforting to see it go, but it's also in the back of your mind, you, you're saying to yourself, who's the next? With that, next man up. <laughs> that's, just, that's just the reality of it. Next, you know, next man up. Who's the next man? And the next man might be worse than him. And police say this all started with a concerned citizen calling in a drug complaint to the 244 dope hotline. They say that line is open. They want Detroiters to call it if they suspect people are dealing drugs in their neighborhood. I'm Randy Wembley, and this is The Edge.